Shalom. Assalamu alaikum, my friends. So, you know, April 8th, I showed you guys where the airplanes were flying and everything. And then I'm going to show you something for April 9th, but I'm going to show you what happened even today. So, here we have nothing but cloudy skies. It's a gray color, just like, like I had shown you um, when the clouds were, were bursting out from the airplanes flying over. Uh, we have a little bit of rain droplets that are falling. They fell last night. Uh, now we have some falling again. L very light, very light rain, not a lot. So I want to show you this now. So this is the, if you read in Revelations, it says that they will attempt to change the times and the seasons, the seasons themselves, right? So I told you the earth has shifted. Yeah, the earth has shifted, but like only four or six degrees. So what that does on a, a greater level, so just like think about four or six degree shift, it's not a lot, but when the sun's shining in, it's it seems like it's a lot um, of the shift. So basically you're two months behind everyone. Like you'll be two months behind of the season naturally, naturally. Now, that's not a lot, really. Two months behind in a season is really uh, not a lot. And it depends on the wobble of that year of whether it's going to be a colder or a warmer season. But I want everyone to understand this. I'm going to show you um, the news that took place after they were flying the airplanes, right? And you saw the direction. So over my house, the direction that was blowing was um, southeast, now, southeast of me is Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, um, Louisiana, all these type of things. Now, I'm going to show you this. In now, here was the path, the path going here to here, right? From here to here. All the way from New, uh, Nuevo Leon, right over where I, my house is, there. Now, these airplanes were flying. All through here trying to uh, disrupt this path and even over in here. Now all that wind was blowing this direction. Now look what is taking place because of what they did. Now watch this. Tonight, breaking news as we come on the air, the tornado threat right now and the severe storm threat worsens over the next 24 hours, several states. And tonight, the Arizona Supreme Court upholding that state's 160-year-old abortion ban, one of the strictest bans in the nation. The okay, so now I wanted you guys to see that. So now they're, they're, they're making weather. Now, they, now, you guys might not believe me, but I, in, back in the 60s, they used to do this in Vietnam. And make a torrential rainfall in Vietnam during the war so that it would be um, um, harder for a war basically in their land to, to take place. And it would destroy their uh, rice crops and their patties and their field patties and stuff like that to create starvation. So they were doing this back in the 60s. This is not a lie. Anyone can look this up and you do more studying into uh, HARP and DARPA. You see that they had this technology to ionize the air. And what I showed you yesterday, I'm not lying, they did it. And you see the next following day to all those states that were sunny and clear. Now look at yourselves today. Look at yourselves today. Now they started this, like I say, in that path. So they were doing it on the opposite end, trying to streak the sky full of that stuff. And you saw in my own video where... They uh, literally the airplanes were being ca captured during the solar eclipse, sending smoke out the back of their tails. Now we as Americans we need to start asking the F FAA and all these um, military industrial complex and everything. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Because we will no longer give you any of our tax money whatsoever until you reveal what the fuck you're doing up in the sky releasing shit in our atmosphere. Period. It's not normal. It, listen to me, everyone. It's not normal. Because before you even had airplanes, period. Now, I live in the state where we created the flight. We created flight for everyone. But you got to ask yourselves, before even flight was invented... You, wouldn't, you weren't releasing shit in the atmosphere. 
You know you sure the fuck weren't. You weren't having airplanes releasing crap out in the back, just create whole streaks of clouds like I showed you to completely block the sun out. What is this that they're attempting to change the seasons for? Why are they wanting to do this? What are they doing? What are they hiding and covering up? Right? You understand? So we need to we need to ask our Senate in our house, what the fuck are you doing? Otherwise, put me in office. I'm, I'll run for president. Put me in office and I'll make sure I get down to the nitty gritty of what all our tax fun money is funding and what the fuck these jokers are all doing. I'm serious about this, everyone. Because this right here is a way that they produce fear and they try to attempt to say, oh, global warming is taking place. We need to do this or we need to do that. Blah, 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 blah. So that these... Rich motherfuckers can steal your money, lie to you, everything else. Now, you got to look at, look, who's creating the technology? Rich motherfuckers. Who's the ones flying the airplanes doing this shit in their sky? Rich motherfuckers. Who's the ones that are trying to profit or make any kind of money off any of this shit activity that we call an abomination towards God, whether it's homosexuality, transgenderism, or any of this interracial stuff or any of that crap? Who's profiting, making the money off of it? These rich motherfuckers. Meanwhile, who is it that's getting, um, uh, reaping the, 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 the hell, the torment, the foul things, the drug activities, the, the, the gang activities, the shootings, right? The robbings. Um, when you legalize certain aspects of our assembly of our people, who's the ones that experience the downfall of what these rich motherfuckers are doing? That's right, it's us. It's us. And we have to be the ones to suffer. And meanwhile, we're not getting no money. They're stealing your money. No, they give you a raise, but then they create inflation and say, oh, it's because of a war that they started, that they do. You understand? Nothing's changed. Cows still give milk, chickens still lay eggs. There's no difference in what any of this that they are doing. Meanwhile, you got scientists and labs creating viruses that will kill your animals, so on and so forth. You understand what I'm saying? We as a nation of people and globally as people, we need to come together and unite against all of these rich fucking corporations and say, we've had enough and stop going to work for them. Stop going to work for them, period. I mean, if everybody globally were, like I state, were to say, we're not going to work for anybody for a whole two fucking weeks, maybe even a fucking month, we're not going to fucking work for you, period. Until you motherfuckers listen to what we the fucking people say. And what we the fucking people want. Not what a small group of brainwashed abominations of rich fucking clowns want. So, now you see the weather. You see what took place. Now you got these weather patterns that's going on. This, is, this isn't normal, you guys. It's not, trust me. It, it, if, if anything, when the earth shifted, your weather for most of the United States... Is it should be getting a lot better, like it, it, um, tropical in a manner, right? Very tropical. You go to other nations where they're not doing this shit and look at how those nations are turning out. You got rivers popping up in places that were deserts. You got this going on, that going on. You know, you think about that and then you look at your own selves, That these nations that are in cahoots with trying to rule and control the world. And you see, wait a minute. How come all these other nations are not seeing such crazy activity such as this? And in fact, their nations are becoming a nice place to live, you know, weather wise. But somehow we've got unnatural, unnatural events of airplanes flying around, all this stuff to create unnatural weather. And they're doing it right before voting time. To get people's minds off of things is what they're doing. To keep to keep you occupied so that they could just push their agenda or push whatever it is and all their crap. People, you got to wake up to them, man. You got to wake up to Donald Trump, that jerk off, Bible crazy man, and Biden, who's a crazy motherfucker, Obama. These guys are crazy. They're not trying here to help you. Trust me. I'm, I'm telling you a fact. These are men that do what Noah's... In the days of Noah, these are the men that do what they, they did back in those days. Young girls, chasing money, chasing fame and fortune. This was all what was going on in the days of Noah. And they were devouring one each other. They were marrying, giving into marriage. They didn't care what age you were. They started the gay shit, promoting all that. It, it was it, God looked at the earth and it was so corrupt, he said. He had to flood it. 
you're living in it right now. And then you look at your leaders. These are these, really these are guys you want to be putting in a power. I mean, you guys are fucking dumb, fucking dumb. So dumb you're being brainwashed by all these dumb motherfuckers. Period. They give you all these promises. They give you all these things. You know, Trump said, I'll oh, lower the gas price and we'll do this and we'll do that. Why? Why are you saying that? Because look what Obama uh, uh, Obama and Biden did within the past four years on purpose, on purpose, so that that way they could sweeten up the deal when Trump comes in, even though Trump's a fucked up person himself. I mean, it, it's, it's clear, you guys. They only offer you whatever they want to offer you. That's pretty much it. And then they're going to do whatever the fuck they want to do without listening to we the fucking people, period. Period. They don't care. That's when you guys, you, you guys start putting in people that, that are looking for real truth. Not these fucking jerk offs who are taking sides. I side with Trump. I side with Biden. I, no, the people that have their own brain that side with the people to seek out that which is truth. Who cares if these guys are siding with whoever? That means they just don't think for themselves. They're followers, not leaders. Isn't that what House of Representatives and Senators are supposed to be? A leader of whatever district they are? But look at all of them. They're all just nothing but followers of whatever party uh, leader that they have within that party. They're followers. None of them think for themselves. None of them listen to their own districts of people of what their complaint is and, and, and what they want and what they don't want. Instead, they just force the things, force it upon you, and then look around in your society, look in your look in your towns and your cities, look how fucking corrupt it is, look at all the shit that people get away with, look what they're all doing, stealing your fucking money. Haven't you guys had enough? I mean, seriously, have you guys not had enough? Are you still going to let them fly around in airplanes and pretend like weather is changing when they're the motherfuckers that are doing it? I mean, seriously. You know, you can make weather because th didn't you do that in science when you were a little kid to, to learn how to make clouds and stuff like that in, in pop bottles, how to make volcanoes, right? How to do all that. Don't you know what science is about? No, because they dumbed all the kids down. And that even started where I live myself. No child left behind. It started in where I live. And they dumbing all the kids in their education. So that these generations that come, they don't ask questions. They just, they're yes men, they're followers. And they're very stupid. And then No Child Left Behind, I, all that was, was to keep the, the, the smart kids dumb. To keep the people who were were seeking a, a truth and had um, a tenacity to seek things or to do things or to invent things. It crippled them. Crippled them. So now they don't have that drive to anymore instead now what is their main drive to have robots do it <laughs> rather than humans themselves so well, we live in a fucked up time man we're living in a fucked up time this these are the days of noah about to take place bigger than bigger we're we're in it right now and your religions are all fucked up all day long they just fight and argue over who's right and who's wrong when they're both wrong, they're all fucked up. They have no interpretations proper. They all believe in hocus pocus and magic tricks. Superstitious and every fucking thing else. It's insane, everyone. You, you, you don't know how far away from sanity you guys are. You really don't. If only you knew what I knew and you could see what I see, you would realize how fucking ignorant and lost you are from truth period so look what's going on now you got crazy weather happening in places that it shouldn't be happening because they're making it happen and it shouldn't be <laughs> i filmed it live to expose it to show you guys it but look how many people will be, no, it's not true, or be superstitious. Or they tried to fuck my video up, you know, muting muting me where I couldn't give commentary. So who wants to watch a video that's that's um has no commentary, that's just a, a silent video, you know? Nobody watch, likes silent movies. You like movies with action, right? But you look and see what they did to my video. So 
I got to figure out a way to re-download the YouTube video that I uploaded. And then I'll give commentary. I'll put commentary behind it so you can you can have a better a better video footage. But I want the original still because I don't want to film it off my own video. And I want to keep it clear so you can see the things that, that were happening. But um, I want to give commentary in it because it was muted. So they did not want anyone to know about this. And then you know what I got on it? They gave me a copyright strike. Where's the fucking copyright strike? I'm the one talking. I'm the one in my fucking video. How? What is? Where's the copyright coming from, motherfucker? I got no music in it. I got and half of it's fucking muted. Yet they still put a copyright on it. That's insane to me. But uh, they do this so that they can keep it off the algorithm, so people don't see it. This is what how they manipulate things, man. I'm telling you. I, like I said, I can't wait till we have a great civil war take place because these guys that did it, that are the CEOs and all this other stuff, man, I'm going to go after them. I am. I'm going to go after them. I'm going to put them in their place. I'm going to have them arrested and thrown at Guantanamo Bay. I really will. Because the, the, it's insane that they're actually forcing this upon people and, and manipulating your your rights and your your content. They're manipulating. They're doing things. I mean, this controlling it that is not america at all period not america at all and these guys need to be arrested and thrown in guantanamo bay we need to make a whole separate little place for these guys to all put them in now i'm serious about it because if you guys knew the real truth you would agree you would say yeah if you knew the wicked and the way that they were acting and the the the, the things that they'd say behind closed doors about us You'd want to put them away and lock them up forever. I'm telling you. So uh, just be aware that they're now starting to manipulate the weather big time because we're having a vote this season. So they're going to try to keep your mind occupied off of the real issues that are taking place. I mean, hell, if you got tornadoes going on and storms where they say, they say tornadoes is coming and all this stuff. To be safe, be safe, and have all this fear on upon you. And then when a, a, right, it starts to rain, everybody freaks out, thinking that a tornado comes, but the tornado never comes, right? Maybe it comes in, a, in in certain areas, but not like they're all saying, right? So it just freaks people out to where you're not paying attention to what they're actually doing. That's the great magician trick, man. They're nothing but a bunch of magicians right now. So you see it clearly. I showed it to you. I gave you proof of what they were doing. And that's all I can do, man, is just give you the facts, give you the truth, give you the proof. All right, my friend. Shalom. Aslam alaikum. Peace be with you. We need to lock these guys up for real. This is bad stuff happening. Attempting to change the times and the seasons. Mm-mm-mm.